Hey, I'm Adam Jessica from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, we are going to look at the difference between credit cards, lines of credit, and personal loans. But before we do that, I'd ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So credit cards are fairly easy to understand. They're fairly easy to get. They're fairly easy to use. They give us rewards. So that is the reason why so many of us have them and why I make so many videos about them. Now, when it comes to lines of credit and personal loans, those are not nearly as popular, uh, partially because they are harder to understand. They are a little harder to get. And so we're not quite sure uh, you know, how we would get our hands on those or what they're really good for when we already have uh, credit cards in our wallets, right? So in this video, I am going to talk about each of them, the credit cards, the lines of credit, and the personal loans, and kind of tell you what the pros and cons are of them, and you know what the pros and cons are as they relate to each other, and help you kind of understand you know, when you might actually use lines of credit or a personal loan versus using credit cards. All right, so let's start with credit cards. Credit cards let you buy on credit. You can buy something today and you don't have to pay for it until later, you just give the card and they sort of take that as an IOU and then you have to pay for it later. So the uh, nice thing with credit cards is that period between when you make the purchase and when you have to pay off the purchase is something known as the grace period, at least for most credit cards. And that means that in between that time, you are not paying any interest on that purchase and as long as you pay off that purchase on time, you're not going to pay any interest. Now, when you get a credit card, the bank is going to give you a credit limit, meaning you can buy things up to the amount. So if you get a credit limit of $2,000, you could buy $2,000 worth of things and not have to pay them off until later. Now that all sounds good, but if you don't make those payments on time, you are gonna pay interest at a very high interest rate, usually over 15%. For a lot of people, you are going to pay over 20% on those purchases if you do not pay them off by the due date. Now, one of the nice features that many people love about credit cards is rewards. You can get cash back on your purchases. You can get points toward merchandise, toward travel, toward gift cards, all sorts of other things. And rewards are sort of a unique feature of credit cards when we are comparing credit cards to lines of credit and personal loans. Now, one of the other things that people like about credit cards is that relative to lines of credit and personal loans, they are usually easier to get on an unsecured basis, meaning you didn't have to put up any collateral in order to get them. Now, not all credit cards are super easy to get. I know there are plenty of people out there that uh, you know struggle sometimes to be approved for credit cards that they may want, but when you compare them to lines of credit or personal loans, credit cards are the easiest kind to get on an unsecured basis. Now, while credit cards have a lot going for them, they really are intended to be used for specific purchases that you make with that uh, card. They're not intended to be a source of cash or a source of cash flow. Yes, you can take a cash advance from your credit cards, but that is usually going to uh, include a fee. It is going to mean that you are going to pay interest immediately upon doing so and pay interest at an even higher interest rate than your credit card already has. So you may be looking high in the 20s if you take a cash advance. So there's not really the flexibility to use your credit card as a source of cash whenever you want it. It is really there for you to make purchases with and lines of credit and personal loans are more flexible in that regard. All right, so let's talk about lines of credit. Lines of credit have a lot of similarities to uh, credit cards, but there are some key differences. Uh, a line of credit oftentimes is going to be for a greater amount in terms of the limit of what you can uh, access. It is going to have more flexibility in how you use the money that we are talking about. It is going to have usually a lower interest rate than a credit card would have. On the other hand, if you access your line of credit, there is not going to be a grace period, you're going to pay interest immediately, and there are no rewards on lines of credit. So a line of credit can essentially be thought of as a pile of money that is sort of sitting there waiting for you to use it if the need arises. So you sort of make an agreement with the bank that, uh, you know, if you need some money, they will provide it to you. They, uh, you know, establish a uh, limit for it. So you have a line of credit of a certain amount. And if you need it, you can access it. So it sounds, uh, you know, sort of how a credit card works in the fact that there is a limit and, you know, you use it when you want to. If you don't use it, then, you know, nothing is going to happen. Now, the difference between them is the fact that 
usually with a line of credit, you are going to have a higher uh, limit than with a credit card. And when you access that line of credit, it is actually going to be money going from the bank into your bank account. So instead of it being something where you make the purchase and then you pay it off, you instead are accessing that money, it's being put into your account, and then you have a lot of leeway in terms of how you actually use that money. A common use of lines of credit are for home improvements. People will take out home equity lines of credit in order to do improvements on their home because they can get access to uh, you know larger amounts of money. They can use it for a lot of different things, whether that's paying contractors or it's buying materials or whatever. It gives them a lot of flexibility in terms of how they use that money. And generally the interest rate on a line of credit, like I said, is going to be less than with a credit card. So say you were doing something big like a kitchen renovation or whatever and you needed access to $25,000. Well, you don't wanna be uh, you know making individual purchases that you can't pay off right away on a credit card that is gonna charge, you know, 15, 20, 25 percent, where if you had a line of credit at a lower interest rate, obviously that means you could access more money and you would not have to pay as much in interest uh, in order to pay that off again. Lines of credit can be unsecured or secured. Secured lines of credit are going to give you lower interest rates than unsecured lines of credit. Obviously, if you're putting down some collateral, then the bank has more reason to uh, you know, give you a lower interest rate because if something goes wrong, they can take something from you, right? So uh, home equity lines of credit are things that we often think about because you are using the collateral, the equity in your home to back up the uh, you know, line of credit that you are taking out, which means the bank has something they could take from you if you don't pay it back. Unsecured, obviously, they don't have something they can take from you, so you're going to have higher interest rates. Now, one of the downsides for lines of credit, which keeps a lot of people from using them, is they're not super easy to you know, get your hands on. You usually have to have an existing banking relationship. It's not as easy as just jumping on the Capital One website and filling out an application, and then they send you a credit card, right? So you have to sort of have a banking relationship because the bank is going to be taking money from their vaults, sticking it into your checking account when you access that line of credit. So there's a little more work to set it up. Also, like I said before, you are not going to have any grace period. So if you access your line of credit, you absolutely are going to pay some amount of interest. And you know, depending on how long it takes you to pay it off, you may pay more or less interest. And again, like I said, there are no rewards with a line of credit versus uh, you know, the rewards that you may be able to get with credit cards. Finally, let's talk about personal loans, which are a different beast than credit cards and lines of credit, but may actually be easier to understand because of the fact that personal loans are simply installment loans. And so if you have any understanding of how an auto loan works, uh, for example, then a personal loan is very similar. You have a set amount that you uh, take out as a loan and then you have to pay it back in equal installments generally over a certain period of time at a certain interest rate. So everything is established upfront with a personal loan, how much you're taking out, what the interest rate is, and what your monthly payment is going to be. All right, so let's say you take out a personal loan for $5,000. It has a 36 month term. It has a 10% interest rate and so what ends up happening is you pay uh, maybe about $165 a month for every single month over that three year period, those 36 months, and then that $5,000 personal loan would be paid off. Now in the end, you will have actually paid closer to $6,000, so you will have paid about $1,000 in interest, but it will have been a uh, you know an installment loan that you could count on in terms of exactly how much you had to pay and exactly how much interest you were going to pay. Now, one of the big differences uh, between a personal loan and a credit card or a line of credit is the fact that you have to pay, you have to make that payment every month. You can't decide to, uh, you know, make a lesser payment. So if you had $165, uh, you know, a month payment that you had to make, you couldn't say, ah, oh, well, this time I'm only going to make you know, make a payment of $120 and just kind of let it ride and I'll pay a little bit more interest. You are set to, you know, pay a certain amount every month, just like any other installment loan.
Now again, with the personal loan, you've made a commitment to that loan. So you have said that you are going to pay back that amount and that you are going to pay interest. It's guaranteed you are going to pay interest. You've made a commitment to do so. Now that makes it different than credit cards or lines of credit. Credit cards or lines of credit have the potential for you to pay interest if you use them and if you don't pay off the credit card or you know if you access that line of credit, then you would pay interest. But those have the potential, but if you don't use them, then you won't pay interest on them. Where with the personal loan, again, it's like an auto loan or any other installment loan, you have committed to making payments and interest being part of that payment. So it's guaranteed that you're going to pay interest. Now, people take out personal loans for a variety of reasons. There is sort of in the uh, you know past history sort of a negative connotation with personal loans, maybe because they tended to be more loans for people that didn't have very good credit. Payday loans are you know a form of personal loan, and so you know that's how they were seen a lot of time. Very high interest rates for people that maybe you know really needed sort of short-term loans. Personal loans have sort of uh, I don't know been shy up a little bit, I guess, over the past uh, few years in particular. The bigger banks now are offering personal loans and, you know, people with better credit are more likely to get personal loans these days, I think, as their brand or however you want to see it has sort of uh, improved. Personal loans sometimes are taken out to, you know, pay off higher interest debt and that is not necessarily always from someone, you know, that has a bad credit history. So you hear people talk about debt consolidation loans, which is just another way of saying a personal loan in order to pay off higher interest debt. So if you can get access to a uh, personal loan at, uh, you know, a lower interest rate than the, you know, 18, 22, whatever percent that you might be paying on one or more credit cards, then it would make sense to take out a personal loan, use that money to pay off all of those higher interest uh, credit cards and then pay off the personal loan. Then you don't have as many things that you have to pay and you have them all consolidated into one loan that you can then pay off at that lower interest rate. Again, assuming that you can get a personal loan at a lower interest rate than the credit cards uh, with the higher interest rates. Which brings me to my last two points. And the first one is that all of these instruments are going to have interest rates that depend to some extent on your credit history. So there's no guarantee that a line of credit or a personal loan is going to have a lower interest rate than a credit card. If your credit history is not very good, you may not be able to find a personal loan or a line of credit with any better interest rate than the credit cards that you already have. Now, if you have a better credit history, that may be different because credit card rates for the most part are fairly lousy depend you know regardless of uh, what your credit history is even people with good credit history oftentimes are getting you know 15% at best uh, you know sometimes even over 20% on their credit cards but if your cre uh, credit history is better you could find that line of credit or you could find that personal loan that is going to allow you uh, you know to access money at a lower rate and that's when obviously those are going to uh, you know come into play and be a better idea for you and then the second point that I would make and I didn't really get into this too much because it sort of varies uh, depending on who you're dealing with and again with your credit history but there may be fees attached to uh, opening lines of credit or uh, originating personal loans. So you also need to make sure that you understand what all the different pieces are if you go through and set up that line of credit or you uh, take out the personal loan to make sure you're not only looking at an interest rate but you're seeing what all the uh, you know rates and fees are all together. So that is it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you are someone that has used a line of credit or a personal loan in particular and have anything to add to what I've said, I would love to hear that in the comments too. Otherwise, thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and have personal finance news and talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.